be a France and the lovers of freedom all over the world. Their weapons, bags of beer France, live media, televisions tonight. The beer France able Prime Minister, Manzi Samuel Epa, have joined the live tower against to address the United States of beer France all over the world. Pay attention as I watch it, click the like buttons, the share buttons, and the subscribe for more. In the name of protesting, I am sending my condolences on behalf of Biafra government to those in the degree who have lost their loved one. It may surprise you and shock you today that Nigeria Terrorist Air Force conducted air bombardment on people in Bono State and they killed hundreds from airstrike. Did you hear it anywhere? I am asking you, did you hear it anywhere? Of course, you can't. So we send our condolences to the family that have lost their loved one in the air bombardment of the Nigeria Air Force today in Medugri. At the same time, we want to commend those in Gombe who actually stood their ground to fight. Even though we are not fighting and we are not protesting, we don't have the same ideology, but we have some kind of alliance. So the encouragement we will continue to give you. Those in Gombe, you must continue to stand very strong. They made sure that three ministries in Gombe was raised today. That is the consequences of the killings in those areas. In all this, we have made it very clear. Any day, anywhere, a Biafra become a victim. The Biafra Defense Forces must be standing by when we move to the street. This is not going to disrupt our template to the liberation of Biafra. The resistance fighters, the Biafra Defense Forces, and the Biafra Liberation Army, you must be on standby. The Chief of Army Staff, criminal terrorist staff, has issued a threat that they are watching and they will intervene. And I know that when they issue this threat of intervening, they are not intervening anything. The target is Bia France. And this time around, we have army, we have defense forces that have stood, defended our land, killed them, neutralized them in numbers, and they know what we can do. So on this note, I am calling on all the fighters of Biafra forces, both those in the reserve and those that are very active in their command and bases to stand by. When the order will be given for the street, it will not be public, so they don't know what is hitting them. While we continue our liberation struggle until November, we will change the dynamic again. Our dynamics will be changing probably on a monthly basis. I told you people that the month of July will be a very interesting month that you can never forget. And I want you to take your memory back to the, to the month of July. The history that we have created can never be wiped away when you talk about how Biafra fought their way out of Nigeria. July will ever live in the mind of these terrorists and their sponsors. In the month of August, will be the double of the month of July. What it means is that you will hear news and news and news from the other land. We will never allow terrorists to breach in our land. I want you to understand that we are not yet in the declaration stage. We have not declared Biafra yet. But our target and objective is to make sure that Nigeria will never breach in our land to kill our women and children again and go free. The premise of this government of Biafra is that every Nigeria present will be neutralized in Biafra land. Every Nigeria present, I mean every Nigeria present, because Nigeria is evil, Nigeria is dead, and the earlier we eradicate debt from our land, the better for us. Nigeria is dead. That is what Nigeria represents. Nigeria represents blood of innocent people. And Biafra France has paid the biggest price. 
I must thank all Biafrans for this particular loyalty and mandate given to the Biafra government in exile and the de facto government in homeland. I want you to understand that this is the very first time in the history that exile government have politically and civilly control its territory. To a very highest degree, there has never been any time, even in those days, when the freedom fighters were in very unity and unison, when they embrace each other and come out, forget about their differences to fight. There has never been in the history where they have the kind of control over our territory like the Biafra government in Niger today, the Biafra Republic government in Niger. What that means is that we have defiled every strategy that Nigeria has used in the past and in present and even in their future. We have been able to conduct self-referendum that is ongoing. The self-referendum have recorded 49 million. You know, when they had 30 million votes, they were surprised. I uh, don't mind them. One man was on the TV and was talking rubbish. Oh, now he claimed he has uh, he has recorded uh, uh, 30 million votes. He also, uh, you know that he does a uh, palliative. And I want Sonny to get that video, if you have it. So you can play it here. I want the listener to listen to that particular voice. Where that man was making comment that uh, uh, Simon Ekba is giving palliative. That's why people are listening to him. Also, he claimed he has, he, has, uh, he has gotten 30 million votes. Today we are 49 million. 40 I'm going to put my hand on the ground. I'm going to put my hand on the ground. I'm going to put my hand on the ground. I'm going to put my cabinet meeting on international level. I'm going to subscribe to the only notification. I'm going to put my hand on the ground. Covid on so that kila pini mi seni for update di kani uti ni rawa kuna Eastern News Twenty Four. Mwaka continue kwenye ngo ni fa inege. Nine million people of Biafra have voted and given us the power to speak for them and make decision for them. That is the highest true democracy, which Nigeria and many African country never offer their citizen the right to decide their future. We are bringing that particular true democracy to Africa. And the voting is still ongoing. And they were wondering, how is this guy, how is this government, how is this Biafra doing this thing? We are doing it because while you were busy talking rubbish on social media, we were busy researching on how to destroy Nigeria from within. Anywhere we want to see the visibility for Biafra to speak in a language Nigeria will never understand, in any part of Nigeria, we have the capability to do that. When people are saying, oh, why do you bring the war into your doorstep? What you don't know is bigger than you. As we are fighting to exit, there are many people in the north that believe that the exit of Biafra will change their future for good. And we identify ourselves with them. We will stand shoulder to shoulder with these people in the north. I will not make any further statement. Well, let us watch how this whole protest go. Like you know, the Biafra people can never ever protest for the betterment of Nigeria. But I am very, very glad, happy, and will be waiting when their terrorist army will be unleashed on the innocent people and let a Biafra who is in his shop or in her shop get killed. Then you will see madness. You know, they thought they are the only one who know what is violent. We will teach them what is violent. We will teach them that the self-defense, which is enshrined in international law, Biafra people know how to defend themselves, and we know how to activate those laws of self-defense. Like never before, where you will be wondering what is going on, just like you are wondering today, some of them, you see them on social media, they are bragging. So I want my hand will touch you soon. I don't have your time. But what I'm fighting is a just cause. I am fighting to defend the defenseless women and children of Biafra that has fallen victim of Nigeria for decades. Nobody has ever risen up to confront Nigeria the way we are doing today. And nobody will ever do. We are going to be the last after 
I will be the end of Nigeria. Mark my word, because any day Biafra is declared and we fight against them and defend it, it means Nigeria is no longer existing. It does not matter whether the name Nigeria is retained by some people, but the name Nigeria, which Biafra was part of, will no longer exist. So I will be the end of Nigeria. So it does not matter the threat and those planning to come and attack Simon Ekpa somewhere, I will not speak further. But you know, you have tried four times. The first one, second one, third one, fourth one. This is the fifth one. I am waiting for all of you. But my promise is that you will never go back. The spirit of Sisu is what we are using to fight against a terrorist state called Nigeria. It is a Sisu spirit which only the fiends understand. I have come to know what is freedom. I have come to understand that freedom is precious. And one thing that made me laugh sometimes is that I listen to these people and watch those people fighting for one Nigeria and I laugh. You can never fight one Nigeria like me. Would you believe that somebody like me was in the forefront of supporting Atiku in 2019? Even leading Atiku campaign in Europe. You can never be one Nigeria more than me in the past. So when I look at you today, dying for Nigeria, I just laugh. Because there are many things you don't know. That if you do, you will ever regret going out to the street to protest for and bad governance. It's a waste of energy, waste of life, waste of resources, and channeling your energy to the wrong channel, which can never bring anything. Nigeria is not designed to be a better country. Nigeria was not formed to be a country where you are going to be competing with other nations. Every competition that is coming from Nigeria is individual, individual competition. Individual competition in business, individual competition in sport, individual competition in academics, individual competition in everything. Nigeria do not, does not have anything to compete with anybody or any country in anywhere in the world. And you know why? The agenda is caliphate based agenda. In 1989, they had a conference in Abuja called Abuja Declaration. How many of these people in the state of Nigeria today, especially from the South, knows the content of Abuja Declaration of 1989? None of them. Even if they know, they think it doesn't matter. And that is exactly what the politicians have done. They decided to make sure that you are a donkey. You remain a fool. Ah, oh God. Do you know what these people did to us? While other people in the world, children, other children in the world, will be developing their brain in critical thinking in school. They will bring some certain things to make it form some object. From kindergarten, they will be telling them, how to bring some object and make it from something to develop their critical thinking in our own in Nigeria, especially from the south, in the southern Nigeria, part of, part of Nigeria. You know what they did? You know, many of you do not know why the southeast, especially, is very, very powerful when it comes to 419. You don't know the reason. Do you know? It was deliberately designed for you to become a criminal if you are from the southeast with your ed academic curriculum some of you do not understand this makija music that is today after how many years it is now everybody is doing go boom boom you do not understand what the music is all about you do not understand what is called reader do you know in your primary school you read reader? Many of you, do you remember what you read called reader? Do you know that everything in the reader was about tortoise? Mbe, how Mbe, how the tortoise was a very smart animal or is a very smart animal? How tortoise is cheating every other animal in the animal kingdom? 
how tortoise will make sure that he cheat everyone and become successful in the animal kingdom. That was what they were taught, teaching you in the Southeast, in your, in your academic curriculum. Do you know why? That is the reason why you have 419 everywhere. That is the reason you see internet for stars everywhere from the Southeast. That is the reason why you see all the crimes about smartness is because they taught you how to cheat. How to become something by cheating. Do you think that reader was being used in the not? The answer is no. I want you to refresh your memory back. What I'm telling you now, you can never think about what I'm telling you now. Until now that I'm saying it. This Gogo Gongo was also how the tortoise went and deceived elephant. Cheated elephant and become the husband to the princess. And become rich by deceiving elephant. In the name of Enyina Agana Epoginazu, an elephant was asking, What did you say? I said, Agata, now I'm so bad. Meanwhile, after reading these books, everything as a child growing up in primary school is how to be smart like the daughters. They develop us to be thinking how to cheat. We are going to change it in Biafra. Biafra will become an innovative country that will teach children critical reasoning, critical thinking, so that when you understand that a Nigeria is not designed for people like you, you will stand up against it. When a government is designed to enslave you, you will stand up against it. In Biafra, we will change everything that way politicians in Biafra do anything, you as a citizen will stand up against it. The Biafra law will become su supreme. I will know that this way we are enjoying in Finland and other parts of the world is because of the system that is deep rooted in innovation and critical thinking from childhood. People develop how to become something, how to invent something, science. Technology is what they teach them. Why your own is to teach you how a tortoise is deceiving elephant. And that is the only way you can become a successful person in the society. That is the only way you will become the, you will become the king of the animal in the animal kingdom. Is to be very smart to cheat everyone around you. Today, the society, the Nigeria is falling apart as a result of a design educational curriculum that was not intended to make you a better person. That rather to make you a failed state, failed society, and we have come to reason up and say we will not continue with this evil entity. Go anywhere in the world when you have Africans there and you have criminals in prison. If you see 50 Africans in the prison, Nigerians will be 40. Go to the United Kingdom. Why are they in prison? criminal activities, cheating, faking, drugs, everything. Because it was the base that they were taught from the childhood how to cheat. That's why Nigeria is not bothered. When they hear you, you are a Yahoo Yahoo boy, you are making money, they're not bothered. Have they put anything in place to fight against it? No. In fact, many parents are even supporting it. Because they were also part of the Tortoise story. They were also part. They were the one buying you the books now, the reader. They are the one buying you the books of the story of Tortoise. Every day, Tortoise is going, he met, uh, he met ghost on the way, and the ghost, they draw the ghost with big head. Tortoise will bring a drum and was beating the drum, and then it was all about how to cheat ghosts. Even ghosts. Tortoise cheated the ghost and he was started beating the drum and palm fruit started falling. The tortoise manipulated the ghost and cheated them. And today, Nigeria has fallen. Everything has fallen. The politicians are criminals, police are criminals, army are criminals, president is a criminal, vice president is a criminal, uh, senior president is a all of them. It was a very well-grounded criminal entity. And you are wondering, 
How are you going to solve this problem? You can never solve it. Nigeria can never, ever, ever be revived. And our job as people that have been trained in a civilized world is to destroy Nigeria, to save our people. That's what we are doing. Anything that would destroy Nigeria today, bring me in. Because that is the only way to save my people. Nigeria have killed my people even before I was born. I have come to say that I will never live and pass this nonsense, evil and demonic entity onto my children. I will pass onto them freedom. That's what I have put my life on the, on the line to make sure that after this fight, nobody else will fight anything freedom. What you are going to be fighting is to make sure that the legacy we are living today continues. If you have not supported this freedom, what exactly are you waiting for? They have called me agent of Nigeria. They have called me agent of APC. I am not bothered. Because that is a name they will want to give you to demoralize you. Even the so-called APC and the government will be laughing. Look at these people. Oh. This guy that we are looking for a way to eliminate, they are saying is a Nigeria agent. They will be laughing at you because you are an idiot. And they are not worried about the fact that some of you are calling me Nigeria agent because they know it is a system that is designed for you to be a fool. That you can't think because you, you were never taught anything called critical reasoning. Bring one and bring two. Join it together. Make something out of it. From, no, from nothing. You can't do it because you were never taught about how to develop something from nothing. In Europe here, in the Western world, they teach children how to develop something, make something out of nothing. And that is the thing we are bringing back to the Biafra land. And I promise Biafrans, I will bring Finland to Biafra. Today, the government in exile and the de facto government. The structure we have built, is it not happening? We have been able to defeat Nigeria even with their billions and billions of dollars. We defeat them militarily. We defeat them in everything, academically, structure, government structure-wise and everything. We have outsmarted Nigeria. And because... We are laying a very strong foundation that nothing can destroy. If you think that we are joking and you are yet to support Biafra Freedom, wait to December 2nd. Everything we have done so far is in public. We are not hiding our roadmap to Biafra. Like I said, we have gathered 49 million votes, counting, still counting, because this is the second stage which will end in August. And then this third stage starts in September. 49 million already and still counting. Have you ever seen in Nigeria where election was conducted and you have 49 million votes? No. In the last election, we warned these Nigerians that what you need is not election. They call from ahead. I told them, you do not want election. The whole people contesting for to become president of Nigeria are all criminal. The main three uh, 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 candidates, they are all criminals. Artiku is a criminal. Artiku embezzled money, Nigeria money that should have built hospital schools. Even if you use the money to build hospital schools, it is still going to crash because the foundation is faulty. Artiku took the money to America. He was indicted. He's a criminal. If it was in Europe or in London, in the United Kingdom, I think we can never be allowed to contest the election. But in Nigeria, it is normal because it's a foundational problem. He contested, he bribed. Tinubu is a criminal. He was indicted in the United States for drug trafficking. Not only that, with other crimes that he has committed both in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. Today, they found him worthy to become a president. We warned against the election. Nobody listened. They signed petition against me. Today, the same people that signed petition want me to ask their friend to protest. It is impossible. Peter B is also a criminal. While he was the governor of Anambra State, he has money, $50 million, in offshore account. When he was asked, he said, 
they, he was advised. Is that excuse in the court of law that you were advised? But as a governor, you are not supposed to have offshore account. What I'm telling you is a fact, and that makes him a criminal. Plus other ones we don't know about. So if Peter B was supposed to be in the United Kingdom, do you think, for those of you living in the United Kingdom, do you think with the money violating the law and the constitution of the United Kingdom by banking up to $15 million in offshore account, which he said he uses to service his business, do you think he will be coming out to contest election in the United Kingdom? The answer is no. So why is he contesting Nigeria? Because it is a foundational problem. You know when we say it like this, we don't, we don't, we don't like it. We will not like each other, especially those who are standing on the way of the success and the future we are trying to build for our generation. Those of us who come abroad to learn and want to bring back what we have learned. I did not just come to learn how the system works. I have also come to learn how to become a beast to liberate my people. The country where I'm living, they fought like beasts against Russia. And the beast in them is called Sisu spirit. That is what I have possessed and possessed me. I don't know what you have in your own country where you reside, your history. Allow the history to pass through you and use that history to change your country where you come from. I have allowed the Sisu spirit of Finland to possess me and pass through me. Not only that, I have also allowed the system of Finland to possess me. That's why I am fighting tooth and nail. Putting my life online because they did also put their life online uh, fighting against Russia to become what they are today. What I'm doing today is not against any law. You can't kill my people for many years and nobody does anything about it. Today we are killing you back without remorse. If you have the power to kill us first, do it. But if you are in Biafra land as a military, terrorist army and police, you will go down. I am telling you, if you don't go down today, you go down tomorrow. Even though they are not reporting it. We will continue to eliminate all of you to protect our women and children. You have killed them enough. So, we told them that election is, one, is not what they need. What they need is a referendum so that the people who have come to see light will choose their way, how they want to live their, their own life. You cannot be deciding for me. You cannot be telling me, I must live with you when Akwa Bio is a criminal and become a Senate president. And I must come and see Akwa Bio, whom I know very well that even in the worst country in the West, he can never be a counselor. I will look at all these things, I will swallow it. Allows people who do not know what future is all about to decide the future of my own children and my generation. That is impossible. Today, if they stand on our way, they will go down. We don't know what is coming. As you are looking at me, I have seen comments on social media that you are a heartless man. That is an understatement. I have no heart. And that is exactly what Nigeria needs. And you are going to see more of me. When Mazen and Dekano was captured, I told you people that a time will come when you are going to know who Simon Ekba is. We have not even gotten there. Wait. After the declaration. After December 2nd, you will see madness in the highest order. I welcome every one of you. I thank you, dear friends, for believing in me and following my instruction and today you see I have saved their lives. Many lives have been saved, even though they will still come from the backyard to kill you. But of course, not all of you will die. We will defend you as many as we can. The remaining people that make it alive will enjoy their friend and enjoy freedom. Freedom must come.